woman tried to kidnap my stepson after she accused me of kidnapping him. She works hard and does a lot so I definitely felt it was necessary to do something for her so she could just relax for the day. I took my son with me so she could rest up and just take it easy and it gave me time to spend with my son for some bonding. We completed all of the errands which went smoothly and then headed to the grocery store to finish up our day. My son being a typical four-year-old was full of energy running ahead of me laughing and speaking to everyone he comes across. Which I generally don't mind as long as he doesn't hit anyone and stays within eye view. As I'm making my way down and all looking for canned corn. My son jogs to the end of it when an older lady is entering at the other end. My son being the sweet social butterfly he is, approached and exclaims an excited hi. Me four and me Ryan. Bless his little heart. The lady looked down and says well hello there. You shouldn't be running around unattended. Let's go find your parents. I didn't think anything of her statement because I assumed she just hadn't seen me. Ryan, come back here bud, please. He excitedly runs back toward me and starts turning in circles because you know, he's four. <laughs> I'm still searching the shelves as the lady walks past me and stops behind me. Again I think nothing of it because it's a grocery store and you have to share the aisles. I turn my basket around and start to walk toward the front cash registers when this lady literally blocks my path. I say excuse me and try to walk around her and she moves her cart in front of me again. I honestly thought she was just getting confused and said excuse me once again and tried one more time to go around and she just blocks my path. The following convo ensues. Me, I'm sorry about that we'll get out of your way. Lady, oh I don't think so. You're not going anywhere with that child. Me, you mean my son? Lady, that's not your child. He's white. And you're Mexican. You probably didn't even know his name until he said it to me. Me, sure whatever lady, can you just move? My wife is at home and anxiously awaiting for us. Lady, stop your lies. You're not taking him anywhere you pervert. This whole time my son is standing close to me holding my leg because he was honestly getting scared. I was getting angry because I hadn't had much sleep and I have a short fuse anyway. Thanks dad. Me, as you can see he's standing close to me because he trusts me and you're scaring him so how about you buzz off? Lady, no. He's scared because of you. He just doesn't know how to express it yet. She looks at my son lady, come on now sweetie, I'm here to rescue you. Come with me. Thankfully my son was able to communicate to her he wasn't going anywhere with her. But she was having none of it. She literally grabbed my son and began to run. It caught me off guard because I honestly could not fathom what was actually happening. My son starts screaming loudly because he was so scared and this lady is just like don't worry sweetie he won't hurt you I promise. Suddenly I snap back into reality and I begin to chase after this crazy wench. While running through the store, I yell for people to stop her and that she's kidnapping my son and thankfully a worker stops her before she makes the exit. Lady, why are you stopping me? This Mexican here is trying to kidnap my grandson. My son literally is bawling his eyes out and extending his arms out calling for me. This lady was relentless and would not let go until my son even after he slaps her face multiple times. I laughed a little not gonna lie. At this point a manager shows up and asks what's going on. The lady spoke before me lady. This, pointing at me, pervert is trying to kidnap my grandson and I was just trying to escape. Me, that's my son you freaking psycho. Now let him go. The manager didn't know what to believe. I don't blame him he was caught in a weird situation. So I pulled out my phone and showed him pictures of me and my son that dated a year or so back as proof. This lady still would not give up and accused me of faking them. Like how would you do that exactly? I'll never know but whatever. Sadly, there were two other ladies there taking the psycho side and said I was attempting to kidnap my own son because there was no way we were family because of our different skin tones. One even called the police, which I was actually happy about because I knew they'd be able to review the security cameras. Even still, I called my wife to see if she could come to the store to get this situation cleared up quicker. As soon I told her what was going on, she zoomed to the store. She got there about the same time as the police. The crazy ladies were giving their statement to the cops when my wife walked in. As soon as she walked in, my son goes mama help. My wife is a true mama bear and she immediately flew into a rage when she saw this lady holding my son. Wife, let him go now. Lady, sorry sweetie, I was just trying to protect him from this pervert over here. Lady too. Yeah, we saw him trying to kidnap him but this lady saved him. The cop looks at the lady and is confused. Officer, I thought this was your grandson. Wife, I have no idea who that lady is. She takes out her phone and shows the officer a picture of my mother-in-law. Lady, okay, I'm sorry he's not my grandson but I was only trying to protect him from this dirty pervert over here. Lady too. Yeah, I witnessed the whole thing. He snatched that child and tried to run away with him but this lady stopped it. Lady 3, yes, I saw it too. He needs to be arrested. 
and you, pointing to my wife, should be thankful that this lady was here to save your son because you obviously just let him loose wherever. Wife, who are you talking about again? All three crazy ladies pointed at me wife, oh you mean my husband? Lady one, husband? Wife, yeah, who do you think called me and got me here so fast? I presented my ID to the officer and the manager and my wife did the same. We also each showed pictures of us on our phones to prove we were really a family. The cop nodded in approval and handed us our phones back and jotted down a few notes. The three ladies for some reason still kept trying to say this was all fake and my wife was in on the kidnapping and said we needed to be arrested. My wife lost it at this point and let off some colorful words I won't repeat here but she definitely got her point across. Then the nail in the coffin came for the psycho trio. The office turned to the manager and asks. Officer, sir, do the cameras work here? Manager, yes, we have them inside and out. Officer, okay, great let's go review. The three ladies' faces went pale, like ghostly pale. The officer reviewed the outside camera as I pulled into the parking lot and saw me take my son out of my car and then as I went up and down the aisles and most importantly the instance the woman snatched up my son and began to run. Upon his return he asks. Officer, would you like to press charges? Lady 1, yes, I would. Officer, why would I be asking you that question? Shut your mouth and sit down. He turns to me and repeats the question me, absolutely. Lady 1 was charged with attempted kidnapping, false imprisonment, providing a false police report and child endangerment. The other two were also charged with providing a false police report as well. To make matters worse for Lady 1, my son bruises easily and she left some terrible spots on him from where she was grasping him. But he's fine. This added a charge of child abuse to her rap sheet. I have court later this year but I'm not sure when because of COVID. The officer will be following up with me in a few weeks. Sorry for the length. Edit. Wow, wasn't expecting this to blow up. Edit 2. Thank you for the hug and gold awards kind strangers. Edit 3. To everyone who has commented and shown support, thank you. I tried my best to respond to you all but the messages came through so fast and I couldn't keep up. But thank you again edit 4. If you commented on my post negatively well that's on you and your miserable self. But if you said anything in regards to my son, then you can go screw yourself. I love how there are so many experts on here that know so much about my son, who you've never met. I posted this to vent my experience and get it off my chest. But whatever I have nothing to prove to you. Edit 5. Hi everyone sorry, I kinda went off grid. But I should have a real update soon. Apparently, the lady involved is connected to local police through family so they're trying to be real quiet and drag this out as much as possible. But we have managed to get a court date in October. No date exactly yet. But trust me I'll post as soon as I have more info. Update. I posted a few months back about this crazy trio of old ladies that tried kidnapping my stepson. It's on my profile so if you want to know what happened please go read it there before reading this as there are a lot of details. Anyway my court day was yesterday. This has been drawn out more than I wish but it is what it is. The leader is related to someone, I think it's her nephew, in the police and they were trying their best to keep this hush hush to avoid embarrassment. And shockingly this isn't the first time this lady has done something like this. But we finally were able to get our day and it was not as good as I hoped. The lady kept insisting that she thought my son was in danger and that there was no way I was his father blah blah blah. She lied and said that my son was running around the store by himself and she was only trying to help. Thankfully the tapes from the store were brought in and showed me and my son arriving together and walking the store together. What I didn't notice the first time was this lady had been following me ever since I walked into the store from the parking lot. The lady had nothing to say. Finally, the judge drilled her saying she should be ashamed of endangering and potentially scarring a child for life with her actions. She insisted it was for the safety of my son but the judge shot back with he was with his father. He was already safe. I mentioned to the judge that for about a month after, any time we passed that store he would freak out and cry and would refuse to go near it. And that for a while he couldn't sleep at night or sleep by himself. The judge acknowledged that and reamed the lady some more. The other two ladies were there as well and were looking scared as heck. <laughs> they both insisted the same thing. Thinking my son was in trouble and I was trying to kidnap him. They even claimed to not know the leader and only chimed in once she said my son was her grandson. The judge looked at them and said well you should have minded your own business. I understand you. Referring to me, would also like to argue this is a hate crime. My attorney spoke up at this point. Yes, your honor. They made this determination that the child was in danger strictly because the skin tones of the two were different. He was profiled and publicly humiliated by complete strangers simply because he looked different. She then took the law into her own hands and attempted kidnapping the child. As you saw on the tape, he was followed from the minute he arrived to the store. There is so much more that happened yesterday but honestly it's a lot to write and I'll probably be here all day writing. <laughs> the three basically got off with a slap on the wrist. 
Due to their age, the judge let them off with only probation and community service. The main lady got the least amount of all three due to playing the my nephew as a deputy card. But the judge grilled them good and they all were red and teary-eyed. He threw out the hate crime saying there's not enough evidence to support the claim. Not really sure how to feel honestly but I guess it's nice they were somewhat punished but they got off way too easy for what they did to my son. The hate crime came from my attorney I didn't even think of that. I just wanted these ladies to be held responsible for what they did and I don't feel that happened as much as it should've. Oh well.